5.2K, Area Volume and Temperature, Converting Temperature. There are some formulas in which we use to convert temperature between Celsius and Fahrenheit. When we want Celsius, we must use the formula 5 times the quantity F minus 32, and this is all divided by 9. As you can see, you take the Fahrenheit, subtract 32 before multiplying it by 5. You then take that number and divide by 9. You use this formula if you are looking for Celsius. Next, we have a formula if we are looking for Fahrenheit. What we do with this formula is that we have 9 fifths times C plus 32. We use this formula if we are looking for Fahrenheit. As you can notice, in this step, the first one, there is parentheses. In the second, there is not. But you must do 9 fifths times C first. It may be helpful to think of this in a parenthesis, in that you must do 9 fifths times C before beginning, though a parenthesis is unneeded. In example one, we can see that 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit is body temperature. We would like to find body temperature in degrees Celsius. Since it asked us to find body temperature in Celsius, that means we are looking for Celsius, and we therefore must use the formula C equals 5 times the quantity F minus 32 divided by 9. All we must do is replace the F with the value they have given, which is 98.6. We then can enter this into our calculator and find out that 98.6 divided by 32 is 66.6 .6 degrees. We then multiply this number by 5 to find the number 333. When we divide by 9, we get an answer of 37. Remember, your answer is not 37. It is 37 degrees Celsius. You must label your answer with the appropriate degrees as we are converting between two degreed units. In example two, it is given that 100 degrees Celsius is the boiling point of water. We would like to find at what temperature water boils in degrees Fahrenheit. This means we are looking for Fahrenheit. We must therefore use the formula that has Fahrenheit equals 9 fifths times C plus 32. All we need to do is plug in the C or degrees Celsius into the formula. We then have 9 fifths times the quantity 100 plus 32. As you can see, we do not add the 32 and 100. We must follow order of operations and do the multiplication first. This results in getting 900 over 5 plus 32. We then divide 900 over 5 to find our answer of 180. We then, as a final step, can add 32 degrees to it. This means we result in 212. Remember, this is not our answer. We must write degrees Fahrenheit, as that is what we were looking for. When converting between the two temperatures, remember to use the correct formula. Also remember that in example two, as we saw changing Celsius to Fahrenheit, you must remember to do the multiplication before the addition.